I'm Anil Kumar. In these set of videos, we are discussing how to sketch transformed functions. Now let us work with square root function. The question here is, explain the steps and sketch graph of g of x equals to 3 minus square root of 2x plus 4. We have already sketched the graph of the parent function square root x. Now whenever you are given an equation like this, it is good to write it in a proper way and then describe all the transformations. So let me rewrite this function as g of x equals to. So within square root, this 3 I'll write later. So I have minus square root of, we need to factor 2. Any coefficient of x should be factored. That gives you absolutely correct horizontal transformation. And then I'm writing plus 3. Now this is a familiar way of looking at this equation, right? And that's the reason why it should be written like this. Now we will list the transformations and then sketch one by one each transformed function. So we have minus, so that means the reflection on which axis? X axis. Then as we get into square root, we are dealing with horizontal transformations. This two means horizontally, tell me, compressed by factor of how much? Half, right? So it is horizontally compressed by a factor of half. And then we have horizontal translation two units left. So it is two units left and three units up, right? So these are the transformations. Now whenever you sketch the transformations, we should do multiplication parts first. So in first step, I will do reflection on the x-axis and then second step will use a different color and then do horizontal compression. So first step, we are doing reflection on x-axis. That means zero remains at zero. These are some of the critical points. Then one, one, this is another critical point which we are going to use. And then we have four square root is two and nine square root is three. So these are the critical points which we are going to analyze, right? So the key points which we are working with are, let me list them. It is good to know the key points. So the key points are 0, 0, and then we have 1, 1, 4 square root is 2, and 9 square root is 3. So these are the key points with which we'll work. So if you are reflecting them, x value remains same, y value changes to negative, right? So, so we get this graph here. This comes to minus 3. Connecting these points, we get our graph, which is minus square root of x. Is that okay? So that is how you get, you get any power reflection. Now, let us see how to do horizontal compression by a factor of half. It really means that every point comes halfway down, right? So 4, half of 4 is 2. This is at 9, that means this will shift to 4.5. So this is the kind of graph, half of 0 is 0, right? So what we land up is, is a graph which is kind of like this, right? So let me just sketch it like this, okay. So we have done step number 2, which incorporates horizontally compressed by a factor of, correct, half, right? So just move it halfway. And finally, let me sketch the function with translations. So normally, we can combine these two. So this will be our step number three. So for each point, we'll move two units left and three units up. So this is the first point, the origin itself, two units left and three units up, one, two, three. So here it goes, right? So it comes at this place, okay? Now this is the next point which is at half. So, 
So this will be two units left and three units up. So it will come there. And then we have here a two, two units left, three up. There we go. And then this is at four and a half. So it is three and a half, one, two units left and three units up. So it is at the x intercept, right? So likewise, you could also have a few more points. Anyway, the graph, which is the final graph for us, will look like this. So that is how we get the function g of x. And in these three steps, you can actually sketch any function with any kind of transformation. So remember, whenever you're doing transformation, apply vertical transformations or horizontal, I mean, stretches and compressions first, including reflections, and then do the translations horizontal and vertical translations together. So that is how you could easily sketch the graph. Now the second method is to write down the image points and then plot those points together. Now in this case, the key points will get transformed uh, with this transformation. The x, y coordinates will get changed too. Inside, let's go for x, half of x value minus 2 so that is how x value changes for the y value negative or y value plus 3 so you can perform this operation on these points get the new points and you will find that these are the transform points from the key points or the image of these key points and then you can join them to sketch so i'll leave this part for calculating and then getting to the final transform function for you as an exercise. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.